Learn German games. What's up with that tree? Why is it mumbling like that? Let's try to open its mouth. <laughs> you can see here that die Richtung is feminine because it ends with UNG. Der Baum, the tree, correct. Hello and welcome to LearnGermanGames.com, the only place where you learn German with actual computer games live. Now, if you're not watching this live, make sure to subscribe and click that bell button to get notified the next time we go live. When we're live, you're going to be able to send us your answers to mini exercises in the chat, as well as commenting on the game, because it's a bit crazy, it can get a bit crazy sometimes, <laughs> the story. Now, to help you follow along in the story, regardless of your German level, there are subtitles both in German and English. German is in yellow, English is in blue, and we're also going to be explaining every time there's a few sentences in the game. Yeah. Knowing that, let's start. Last time we were talking to this tree here, crazy tree. Let's try to continue the conversation, see if it has anything to add. Bitte hör auf zu schreien. Du kannst mich nicht zum Schweigen bringen. Ich werde den ganzen Wald aufwecken. Du kannst mich nicht zum Schweigen bringen. Literally, you can me not do the silence. So, Schweigen is um, a noun that means silence. So, that's Schweigen. And it's neuter. This is why you see it here in orange. Yeah, and whenever you have a neuter noun in the dative case, you have to add dem. So, zu, zum is short for zu dem. And the dem is because of the neuter. Yeah. So you cannot bring me to the silence. This is a literal translation, which means you can't shut me up. You cannot silence me. Ich werde den ganzen Wald aufwecken. Also der Wald is the forest. But here we have den Wald because uh, this is the accusative case. This is the direct object. The same reason we have an N here for the adjective. Den ganzen Wald, the whole forest. I know that can be a bit challenging to get used to these things in German since you don't have these things in English and uh, other languages as well if your native language is not English. But you get used to it. It's like music. This is why we do it through gaming here because you have to listen to a lot of German to get used to it. And then you will have a feeling of what sounds right, what doesn't sound right. And then it be just becomes natural. Yeah. In any case, if you ever make mistakes, it's not a big deal. Yeah, mistakes are part of life. and. The better you become at this, the more you'll notice that native speakers also make a lot of mistakes. <laughs> yeah, it's not a big deal. Also, aufwecken is to wake up. In German, you tend to invert the order. So, you up, wake. Aufwecken. And remember, if you're a beginner, especially, that the W's in German are pronounced like a V. Yeah, aufwecken. So, du kannst mich nicht zum Schweigen bringen. Ich werde den ganzen Wald aufwecken. You can't shut me up. I will wake up the whole forest. Nächste Frage. Warum bist du so wütend? Warum bist du so wütend? Ich kann nicht untätig herumstehen und zusehen, wie ihr harzrünstige Menschen meine Brüder abschlachtet. Das macht mich krank. Warum bist du so wütend? Why are you so angry? Wütend. Make sure to stretch your tongue forward here, especially if you're an English speaker. If you're not used to the sound, you just have to make sure the tip of your tongue touches your teeth from behind. You say vu and not vu. So that's the only difference. Playing with your tongue a bit. Ich kann nicht untätig herumstehen und zusehen. Wie er harzrünstigen Menschen meine Brüder abschlachtet. <laughs> yeah. So untätig, because uh, Tätigkeit is an activity. So if you don't have anything to do, you are idle. Untätig. Herumstehen, literally around, stand. So stand around. Just like we just saw a few minutes ago, aufwecken. Um, whenever you have separable verbs like that, they tend to have a, a reverse order. Compared to English, same thing with zusehen. Zusehen is to watch, and the way you remember that is that sehen on its own is to see, 
and tsu, which means to, gives it a direction. So if you're looking in a certain direction, you're watching, you're not just seeing, yeah? Tsu sehen. And always remember that the Z sound in German sounds like TS. So you have to have a T sound first. Tss, yeah, like a snake. Tss, and not a T. So not like a B, more like a snake with a T sound. Zusehen. Ich kann nicht untätig herumstehen und zusehen. I cannot stand idly by and watch. Wie, how? Ihr Harzrünstigen, the tree is talking about this kind of uh, gooey substance, yeah, if you don't know what that is, resin. Meine Brüder abschlachten, abschlachten is to slaughter. So uh, the difference between schlachten and abschlachten, schlachten can also mean slaughter, but abschlachten it's like cut down. Ab is a prefix for verbs that gives it the direction of away. So because they're cutting the trees away, and when you cut the tree, it falls down, it falls away from its root, from its source. This is why um, he used the word abschlachten, and not only schlachten. So I cannot stand idly by and watch you resinous people slaughter my brothers. Das macht mich krank. This can be a bit weird here. We have a separable verb where the two parts make sense. So literally, that makes me sick. But actually, this is one verb called krank machen. This is why you see the dashes here to help you recognize these verbs that you might not otherwise see. So that makes me sick. Das macht mich krank. Bist du ein magisches Wesen? Kannst du mir helfen, Mok Chotra zu töten? Denkt ihr Menschen auch an irgendetwas anderes als ans Töten? Ihr bringt mich wirklich zum Kotzen. Bist du ein magisches Wesen? Kannst du mir helfen, Mok Chotra zu töten? Are you a magical being? Can you help me kill Mok Chotra? Denkt ihr Menschen auch an irgendetwas anders als ans Töten? Do you humans think about anything other than killing? Gute Frage. Notice two things here. Er denkt ihr? He used a, a T with an ihr because he's talking about more than one person. Yeah, not one person. Uh, otherwise, he would have said thanks to do or denken sie if you, if, uh, you want to be formal. The other thing to notice is the verb we just took a few minutes ago. Töten. Here is a verb used as a noun. Yeah, which is killing. And um, what happens is whenever you turn a verb into a noun in German, it becomes neuter. This is why you see it in orange. And this is why you have an S here. Because ans stands for anders. Whenever you're going to think of something in German, you don't think of something. You think on something. Languages tend to have different uses for prepositions. You just have to get used to them. Uh, so this is why I always point to these things, because the more you notice them, the, the more they become natural to you. Yeah? Also, an irgendetwas denken. Ihr bringt mich wirklich zum Kotzen. You guys or you people really make me want to puke. Kotzen, you throw up. And this is why here it's written zum, to the throw up. So you make me puke, you bring me really to the point of throwing up. Hey, kann ich etwas von deinem Herz haben? This is Herz and not Herz. Yeah, Herz, which is uh, resin. Hey, kann ich etwas von deinem Herz haben? Du bist genau wie alle anderen. Du willst uns ausbluten und unsere dicken, leckeren und unglaublich nützlichen Säfte klauen. Wegen euch Menschen ist mir immer Spei übel. Aber nicht mit mir. Du wirst nicht in den Genuss meines Saftes kommen. Dann lass ich dich mal weiterschreien. Ja, bitte hau ab, bevor ich mich erbrechen muss, du garstiger, wurzelloser Stummel. There's a lot of insinuation here and innuendo. We're not gonna go through it. I'm sure you all understood. Once you see the translation, you'll get it. <laughs> hey, kann ich etwas von deinem Harz haben? So das Harz, you can see the picture here. I'm sure anybody who's been into a forest has seen these things on trees. That's called resin. Hey, can I have some of your resin? Du bist genau wie alle anderen. You are just like everyone else. You have an N here for anderen. Because it's uh, plural, yeah. Du willst uns ausbluten und unsere dicken, leckeren und unglaublich nützlichen Säfte klauen. Also ausbluten in this context is to bleed dry. Because that uh, makes sense for plants and trees. Yeah. 
Zafta is a plural of Zaf. So they are Zaft. The Zafta you can see here on the left. The highlighted letters in white shows you the difference. The German has certain kind of uh, guidelines to make plurals. They're not always the same. But you get used to them. Yeah, there's only like a few of them. Uh, some of them are completely irregular. But most of them, they follow some kind of pattern you can get used to. Clown is an informal way to say to steal. So you want to bleed us dry or bleed us to death and steal our thick, delicious and incredibly useful juices. He's talking about resin, of course. Wegen euch Menschen ist mir immer Spei übel. Literally, because of you people is to me, dative, always sick to the stomach. Spei übel. This is a bit of a review from last time. Hopefully you remember some of this. Aber nicht mit mir. Du wirst nicht in den Genuss meines Saftes kommen. Der Genuss is pleasure. And here we have den Genuss. Because after n we have the accusative case, which is the equivalent of direct objects. And this happens whenever there is motion. Motion is because of the verb kommen. Because, you know, when you're coming, you're going, you're moving. Yeah, this is what happens here. And this is why you say den Genuss. And not der oder den, yeah. Also nicht mit mir, not with me. Du wirst nicht in den Genuss. You will not in the pleasure. Meines Saftes. The S here. If you want, you can think of it as possessive S in German. This is called the genitive case. Which means of my juice. You will not enjoy the pleasure of my juice. Dann lass ich dich mal weiterschreien. I'll let you get on with the shouting then. Or continue shouting. In German, generally, if you want to say you're continuing to do something, you add the prefix weiter to the verb. Yeah, if you want to continue um, screaming, weiter machen. Continue playing, weiter spielen. If you don't want to talk about something specific, you can just say weiter machen. Continue doing. Ja, bitte hau ab, bevor ich mich erbrechen muss, du garstiger, wurzellose Stummel. Abhauen is an informal way to say to somebody to scram, to get lost. But the uh, joke here is that abhauen literally means to chop off. <laughs> yeah, so the tree is telling the girl to chop off. Um, yeah, this kind of uh, jokes only work whenever you really know the language in depth. Before ich mich erbrechen muss, we have a reflexive verb here, sich erbrechen is to vomit or to be sick, another way to say kotzen, yeah, a bit more formal. Du garstiger, wurzelloser Stummel. Let's start from the end here. Der Stummel is a stub. And then you have two adjectives before it. Garstig is nasty and wurzellos rootless because wurzel means a root and then los means without now the er's are because he's talking about stummel and you can see here stummel ends with el this is why it's a masculine yeah and because we have a masculine noun and we have the nominative case which is equivalent to the subject you have to add an er yeah, so the ER is added to masculine nouns. You can look up some of these tables here to know what to add online. But whenever you see these tables, you're going to get overwhelmed. Yeah, this is why it's important to not worry about the table. Don't worry about every single case. Just look at the current case and notice it. Yeah, this is how you learn a language in context so that whenever you need it, you can look up this information in your head much quicker without having to look up some kind of table. You're not uh, a computer algorithm, yeah? But also, not only that, everything requires practice. So let's practice a bit now with some mini exercises. If you're new to those, these are just simple matching exercises. The left column are some words we just saw today in German. The right ones are in English. You can send us your answers via live chat. Just send me the numbers on the left corresponding to the ones on the right. And if you're watching this later, make sure to subscribe to Learn German Games so you can follow us 
why yes and that's your answers you will remember a lot more if you're put on the spot and you're actually trying to answer live yeah influencing the video all this adrenaline rush is going to help you remember more and don't worry about making mistakes yeah mistakes are part of the language learning journey you cannot learn much without making mistakes yeah all right enough blabbing let's start abschlachten to slaughter Abschlachten to slaughter. David and Chad says three eleven drei elf. Um, oh, yeah, that was the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Beat you to it, David. Yeah. Tooten to kill. <laughs> Tooten to kill. Why are you so violent today, JJ? I, what happens? I woke up and chose violence. <laughs> <laughs> Bitte nicht. Das Basin, uh, the being. That's the reason, you know. I would like to use this opportunity here to remark about the uh, uh, pronunciation of S. Susan said das Wesen, and you can also hear das Wesen. They are both correct. It's just that in Northern Germany and Austria, they tend to use the S sound more. So you would hear more das Wesen. Yeah, in Northern Germany, you would hear more of a Z, das Wesen. Yeah, they're both correct. Just be consistent. Um, yeah, David became super active now. <laughs> Let's see, David in chat says 7 and 17, also aufwecken, to wake up. And he also says 4 and 12, 4 und 12, und tätig, eilen. Wütend, angry. <laughs> <laughs> wütend, angry. Warum bist du wütend, Jotjo? Was soll ich weiß das? nicht. <lacht> Aber ich mag das Emoji. <lacht> okay, wir machen weiter. We continue. Und, 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 und jetzt haben wir das Schweigen, the silence. <lacht> <lacht> das Schweigen, genau, the silence. It was just a demonstration. Das Schweigen. <lacht> Susan and Chad says, herumstehen, to stand around. Zwei Wörter noch. Two more words. Der Wald, the forest. Der Wald, the forest. And last one, zusehen, to watch. Same answer size now with short sentences we saw today, as well as some sentences I said and sentences that are useful in daily life. Warum bist du so wütend? Why are you so angry? That's what everyone genau. wants to know. <laughs> zwölf. Ah, uh, zwölf, ja, danke schön. Ihm ist langweilig. Um, he's boring. He's, he's, he's boring. bored. Thank Friends? you for making that mistake bored? to give me the opportunity to explain <laughs> the difference. <laughs> So, ihm is langweilig. You can see the dative means that boredom is happening to him. He is experiencing boredom. If you say, mm -hmm. er ist langweilig, it means he's a boring person. So, do not mm -hmm. say, ich bin langweilig. It means, I am boring. Yeah, you have to say, mir ist langweilig to mean, I am bored. David in chat says, 5.15. 5 und 15. Das reicht. That's enough. Das macht mich krank. It makes me sick. Das macht mich krank. Um, 16. 16, danke schön. It makes me sick. Es spielt sowieso keine Rolle. It doesn't matter anyway. Es spielt sowieso keine Rolle. It doesn't matter anyway. Wenn du meinst, if you say so. Wenn du meinst, if you say so. Notice here the use of the verb meinen. It literally means to mean or to think. As in, if this is your opinion, yeah, wenn du meinst. Was meinst du? What do you mean? <laughs> there you go. Another example with meinen. Was meinst du? What do you mean? Wann hast du Geburtstag? When is your birthday? 
Wann hast du Geburtstag? Wann is your birthday? Literally, wann have you a birthday? Um, David in chat says 10 and 17. Gar nicht so einfach. Not so easy at all. Last sentence. Du gehst nirgendwo hin. You're not going anywhere. Fill in the blanks. Bist du ein magisches something? Kannst du mir helfen, noch Chotra zu töten? You remember the girl asked this question, we translated it twice. Wesen. Wesen, sehr gut. A being. Are you a magical being? Bist du ein magisches Wesen? If you're ever um, inside the fairy tale, you need this question. You never know, maybe in your dream. Ja, bitte hau ab, bevor ich mich erbrechen muss, du garstiger, wortloser Etwas. Stummel. Stummel, sehr gut. A stub. You nasty, rootless stub. Stummel. Aber, mich, aber nicht mit mir. Du wirst nicht in den Etwas meines Saftes kommen. Genuss. Genuss, pleasure. Not with me, you will not enjoy the pleasure of my juice. Warum bist du so etwas? Wütend. Wütend. Make sure to stretch your tongue forward to say ü. Why are you so angry? Warum bist du so wütend? Du willst uns ausbluten und unsere dicken, leckeren und unglaublich nützlichen Säfte etwas. Clown. Clown, yeah. To steal. Informal way to say to steal. What is this person doing here? Uh, I want a noun, not a verb. Das is Schweigen. Ja, yeah, sehr gut. Das Schweigen. The silence. To wake up in German. Aufwachen. Oh. Aufwecken. Oh, <laughs> they both mean to wake up, but there's a difference. Yeah, 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 you know. Uh, so, aufwachen is to actually be awake. Yeah, aufwecken is... It's, it's, we'll talk about it later. <laughs> I'll give you a few <laughs> examples. I don't want to go on tangents right now. We're practicing. All right, idle. Untätig. Untätig. Sehr gut. The being. Das Wesen. Das Wesen. To stand around. Herumstehen. Sehr gut. Herumstehen. To watch. Zusehen. Zusehen. Remember the direction of zu. Und was ist das hier? What is this here? Das Wald. Der, der Wald. Der Wald. It's masculine. Der Wald. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Ja, yeah, gender, um, grammatical genders don't always make sense. Yeah. You just have to get used to them. To slaughter. Abschlachten. Abschlachten. You have to say it with an evil voice. <laughs> to kill? Töten. Töten. <laughs> wütend. Wütend. Das macht nicht wütend. All right, ordering of words. You just have to reorder the words for them to make sense. These are all sentences we saw in the game. Hopefully you remember. Das macht mich krank. Das macht mich krank. It makes me sick or that makes me sick. Warum bist du so wütend? Warum bist du so wütend? Why are you so angry? If you're watching with us, try to repeat those sentences yourself, especially those short ones, to help you actively use them so they become part of your active um, language. Yeah, not just, uh, it's not enough just to know what something means. To be able to use it, you have to move your lips and your tongue. Mm. 
Ja. Ja. Er bringt mich wirklich zum Kotzen. Er bringt mich wirklich zum Kotzen. You guys or you all really make me want to puke. Hey. Ich. No, ich kann. No. Es gibt eine Frage. There's a question. At the end. Oh, okay. oh, ich kann ich. Oh. Ich kann ich. Um, etwas, etwas von deinem Herz haben. Herz, Herz. <laughs> what, what you said is, can I have a bit of your heart? <laughs> can I have some of your resin hearts? Yeah, not Herz. This is one of the reasons why pronunciation is super important. Please don't ignore it, especially as a beginner, because it's very hard to change uh, habits later on. Also, nächster Satz, next sentence. Denkt ihr Menschen uh, uh, <laughs> an irgendetwas anderes? Oh uh, boy. I think out came earlier or something. Yeah, you have right. You're right. Auch. Thank you for mentioning auch. Um, on Andres als urgent etwas toten. No, on uh, er, on urgent etwas. On als Andres toten. Anders. Uh, Andres. Als anstöten. I'm help you out a bit because it's important for you to see the correct answer first so you don't remember the wrong one. Do you yeah. humans think about anything other than killing? Denkt ihr Menschen auch also an irgendetwas, an anything anders als anstöten other than on killing? Mm -hmm. All right, gut gemacht. Let's continue playing. We are spielen weiter. Let's leave this tree. Um. <laughs> yeah. Hallo, Muschelhöhe. Sieht aus, als hätte es Mok Chopra noch nicht bis hierher geschafft. Okay. Nein, 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 nicht so hoch. Nein, meine rechte Seite. <laughs> Kannst ist du mich da oben ihn. hören? All right, let's translate what he's saying before we are talk to him. JJ, bitte schön. Hallo, Muschelhör. Hallo, Muschelhör. Oh, um, in this case, it's uh, an U, oh, yeah. Shellheit, this is just the name of a place, yeah. So, Muschel is a shell and Hörheit. We don't have to uh, know those that now. Sieht aus, als hätte es Mokchotra noch nicht bis hierher geschafft. Sieht aus, als hätte es Mokchotra noch nicht bis hierher geschafft. So, geschafft is the verb schaffen, to manage or to make it, as in to be able to do something. Looks like the verb aussehen, Mokchotra hasn't made it this far. So, made it is geschafft. Hierher is a bit like here. But it gives it more of a direction, like he hasn't reached this, he hasn't reached this far yet. Noch nicht. Nein, 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 nicht so. Nein, 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 nicht so. In German, so often means like that or like this. Not like this, not like that. Nein, meine rechte Seite. Nein, meine rechte Seite. My right side, we uh, give a comment about the S a few minutes ago, 10 minutes ago or something. You can also say Seite, yeah, in southern Germany or Austria, you could hear that. Um, but we're using the uh, northern pronunciation here, that's why I say Seite. It's more common on TV to see that. Kannst du mich da oben hören? 
Kannst du mich da oben hören? Can you hear me up there? Sehr gut. Setzt ihn, da, setzt ihn dort ab. Sehr gut. Setzt ihn dort ab. The verb here is absetzen. In this case, it means to set somewhere or to set down. Also absetzen. As we mentioned in the beginning, that up, the prefix up gives the meaning of away. So if you have something and you're setting it down, you're putting it away. Yeah, this is why absetzen means to set something down. Uh, now he said in because he's talking about some kind of uh, masculine object. We still don't know what that is. Uh, maybe it's a uh, rock or something, Stein. We're not sure. Sehr gut. Mal sehen, was wir hier haben. Sehr gut. Mal sehen, was wir hier haben. Very good. Let's see what we have here. Mal sehen. It's very common if you're a beginner. Remember it. Let's see. Mal sehen. You can just use it on its own if you want. Also, mal sehen. Wir Nein, reden mit ihm. Meine rechte Seite. Ein bisschen Entschuldigung, äh, Bürgermeister? Was? Bürgermeister? Was hast du eben gesagt? Hm. Weil sie wie ein Bürgermeister aussehen. Hm. Ich muss gestehen, du bist nicht die Erste, die mir das sagt. Doch leider bin ich nur Meidenmal Marshall Dunn, ein bescheidener Mann des Volkes. Aber nicht mehr lange. Okay. Susan, bitte schön. Na, uh, we already translated both. Let's skip them. Entschuldigung, Bürgermeister. Entschuldigung, Bürgermeister. Der Bürgermeister is a mayor. Excuse me, mayor. Was, Bürgermeister? Was hast du eben gesagt? Was, Bürgermeister? Was hast du eben gesagt? Eben means just now. Yeah, a moment ago. What, Mayor? What did you just say? Weil sie wie ein Bürgermeister aussehen. Weil, weil sie wie ein Bürgermeister aussehen. Because you look like a mayor. Notice how while takes the verb until the end, yeah? Because you like a mayor look. As in you look from the outside. This is why we use the verb aussehen and not just sehen. Aus means out, as in from the outside, how you look, not the action of looking. Hmm. Ich muss gestehen, du bist nicht die Erste, die mir das sagt. Ich muss gestehen, du bist nicht die Erste, die mir das sagt. Gestehen ist to confess. Ich muss gestehen. I must confess. Notice how I'm pronouncing the S-T. Always remember S comes before a T. The sound becomes sh. Ich muss gestehen, du bist nicht die Erste, the first one. And he said die because she's a woman. Die mir das sagt. That also he used D as that because uh, he's talking about uh, to a woman. Yeah, that to me, dative that says because of the D here that comes after the comma, uh, the verb goes all the way to the end. Doch leider bin ich nur meiden mal Marshall June, ein bescheidener Mann des Volkes. Doch leider bin ich nur mein Mal, Marsha June, ein bescheidener Mann des Volkes. Bescheiden is humble. And just like we said in the beginning, whenever you have um, the nominative case, the subject with the verb to be here, and you have a masculine noun like here, man, you have to add an er to the adjective. This is why we have an er here. Yeah. Also doch leider, unfortunately, or alas, if you want to be more poetic, bin ich, the verb comes in the second position, yeah? And the uh, main clause, this is why bin is before ich. Doch leider bin ich nur meiden mal, Marshall. Maidens feast, Marshall Dune, if you're not sure what that is, 
go back and watch the first video on the Broken Age series and you'll understand the story better. It's a funny story. Ein bescheidener Mann des Volkes. Again, here we have the, the genitive case. We talked about it before as well, which is like of the, yeah, of the people. Also, das Volk is the people. Aber nicht mehr lange. Aber nicht mehr lange. But not for long. Let's see why. Hmm, ich muss beim Meidenmal mitmachen. Ich muss beim Meidenmal mitmachen. Kind, so wie es aussieht, gibt es vielleicht gar kein Meidenmal. <lacht> Dir fehlt außerdem der richtige Duft. <lacht> so strange. Jordan, bitteschön. Ich muss beim Meidenmal mitmachen. Ich muss beim Meidenmal mitmachen. Mitmachen is a separable verb that means to participate, literally, with make or with do. If you're doing something with other people, you are participating, you are joining. I have to join the Maiden's Feast. Ich muss beim, by the, so this is short for by dem Meidenmal mitmachen. Kind, so wie es aussieht, gibt es vielleicht gar kein Meidenmal. Kind, so wie es aussieht, gibt es vielleicht gar kein Meidenmal. Child, from the looks of it, there may not, uh, there may be no maidens feast after all. After all comes from ga. Yeah, this is what it means after all. Now, uh, there's uh, some people are still having problems with the verb geben here. Yeah, if you want to translate it literally, it means to exist. But whenever you translate it naturally, it means just to be, yeah? So whenever you want to say that something exists or doesn't exist, obviously there's also the verb existieren, but you generally don't use it in this kind of context. It's a very, very common kind of verb to use. So please notice every time uh, you use it and then you'll have a feeling of when you're supposed to use it. Because for English speakers, it might sound a bit weird to have two versions of verb to be, yeah? Also, Kind, so wie es aussieht, like it looks, yeah, so from the way it looks, gibt es, and here as well, the verb is in the second position because the first thing here is considered one logical entity, so this is like number one, yeah, and Kind isn't really part of the order because he's just getting her attention, yeah, child, so grammatically it doesn't really have any kind of uh, index or... Uh, Order. Gibt es vielleicht gar kein Madenmal? There may be no Maiden's Feast at all. Tiefes Geschnüffel. Deep Sniff. So this is describing what uh, he's doing. Dir fehlt außerdem der richtige Luft. So uh, die, dir, fehl, mm, dir fehlt außerdem der richtige Duft. Genau, also fehlen es du lag. So to you, this is the dative, lacks an addition, außerdem, remember this word außerdem is what you say if you want to say also, because also in English, in German means uh, therefore, uh, or so, sorry, both actually. Um, der richtige Duft, also der Duft is an aroma or a scent or a smell or a fragrance. Uh, let's say uh, fragrance. All right, uh, let's ask him some more questions. Um, yeah, you actually want to be a mayor? Sie wollen also Bürgermeister von Moschelhöhe werden? Meine Hoffnungen und Träume, nur Sandburgen, zu nah gebaut an der zornigen See. Ich hatte große Hoffnungen, Kind. Aber dieses Baudebakel unter meiner Aufsicht hat sie alle weggespült. So poetic. <lacht> hmm. Wann soll Mark Chotra hier eintreffen? Es kann jederzeit so weit sein und es gibt noch so viel zu tun. Ich überlasse sie besser wieder den Vorbereitungen. Ja, ja, diese Meiden opfern sich schließlich nicht von selbst. <lacht> 
J, J, bitteschön. Sie wollen also Bürgermeister von Muschelhöhe werden? Sie wollen also Bürgermeister von Musch Muschelhöhe werden? So, just like we remarked a few minutes ago, also is so. Yeah, even advanced people still confuse that. So just notice it every time so it becomes more natural for you uh, to think this way. Sie wollen also, so you want, so as in you want, therefore, mayor on, of um, Shell Heights become, so you want to be or to become mayor of Shell Heights. Meine Hoffnungen und Räume nur Sandborgen zu nah gebaut an der zornigen See. Meine Hoffnungen und Träume, nur Sandburgen, zu nah gebaut an der zornigen See. Let's add these words one by one. Meine Hoffnungen, Hoffnungen is the plural of die Hoffnung, the hope. Und Träume is the plural of der Traum, the dream. So my hopes and dreams, nur only sandcastles. Die Sandburg is a sandcastle, and this is a plural here with an N at the end, E-N, Sandburg, zu nah, too close, gebaut, built, uh, an der zornigen See. We have the adjective here, zornig, or zornig, angry, yeah, and in this case we have uh, die See, which is the sea. Yeah. Uh, be careful with that verb, uh, that word, sorry, because uh, diese, if it's uh, masculine, it becomes lake. And the way you remember it is that think of a lake as a lot of seas combined. And whenever you have a lot of something, it's plural, and in the plural you use di. Yeah, and this is why diese, think of it as a lot of uh, lakes in one, and this is why it becomes C, and uh, that should help you remember which is which. So my hopes and dreams, just sand castles built too close to the angry sea. Ich hatte große Hoffnungen, Kind, aber dieses Baude, Baudebakel unter meiner Aufsicht, Aufsicht hat sie alle weggespült. Ich hatte große Hoffnungen, Kind, aber dieses Baudebackel unter meiner Aufsicht hat sie alle weggespült. Also, die Aufsicht ist Supervision und uh, wegspülen ist to wash away. So, I had high hopes. In German, you say big hopes. Child, ja. Yeah. Aber dieses Baudebakel, the words are cut here. So, Bau is a construction or built, just like the verb uh, bauen. Debakel is a debakel, yeah. Unter meine Aufsicht, under my watch or my supervision. Uh, unter takes sedative in this case because there's no motion. This is why meiner takes an R. That's the case whenever you have the dative and the feminine noun. Hat sie alle weggespült. Has all of them uh, washed away. Wann soll Mokchotra hier eintreffen? Wann soll Mokchotra uh, hier eintreffen? Eintreffen is like ankommen, to arrive. So when is Mokchotra supposed to arrive here? Es kann jederzeit soweit sein. Und es gibt noch so viel zu tun. Es kann jederzeit so weit sein, sein. Und es gibt noch so viel zu tun. Ja. Yeah. So when you say uh, so weit sein, literally means so far be, as in come to the point that we have been waiting for. Yeah. Uh, so like when you say it's time. Yeah. This is what how you say it in German. Es ist so weit, as in it has come to the point that we have been waiting for. So it can be any time, es kann jederzeit so weit sein, as in to come to the point, to the furthest point where we, uh, it's supposed to happen, that event. Und es gibt, again with the verb geben here, that means to exist or to be, and es gibt noch so viel zu tun, and there is still so much to do. 
Ich überlasse Sie das wieder den Vorbereitungen. Ich überlasse Sie besser wieder den Vorbereitungen. Überlassen ist to leave something over, so she just uh, leaving him uh, to, to his stuff, yeah. What is she, she leaving him to? Die Vorbereitung, as a preparation, uh, but here we use the den Vorbereitungen, because this is the dative case, so uh, she's leaving the uh, preparations to him. This is why you use the dative here. Some verb, you just have to remember what case they take, yeah. Ja, ja, diese meiden opfern sich schließlich nicht von selbst. Ja, ja, diese meiden opfern sich schließlich nicht von selbst. Ja, these maidens uh, don't sacrifice themselves on their own. After all, they have to sacrifice them. <laughs> This game is really crazy. All right, let's practice. If you're watching this live, you just joined a bit late, feel free to send us your answers on the left corresponding to the one on the right. Just send me the uh, numbers in the live chat. Abschlachten to slaughter. Abschlachten to slaughter. I mean, I said it in such a perky voice, I shouldn't have. <laughs> it sounds weird. <laughs> Susan in chat says 317, 317, also das Schweigen, the silence, and David in chat says 118, 118, Hüten, to kill. Wütend, angry. Wütend, angry. Sehr gut. Alf. Oh, Susan's got something in the chat. All right, Susan in the chat says 10, 13, 10, 13, zusehen, to watch. Vielen Dank, Susan. Auf, aufwecken, to wake up. Aufwecken, to wake up. And David in chat says 5, 20, 5, 20, und tätig, idle. Der Wald, the forest. Der Wald, the forest. Zwei Wörter noch. Das Wesen, the being. Das Wesen, the being und herumstehen. To stand around. Yep, so don't stand around and answer those questions here. <laughs> ich muss beim Maidenmahl mitmachen. I have to join the Maiden's Feast. Das wusste ich gar nicht. Warum denn? Elf. Wenn du meinst, if you say so. <lacht> Ihm ist langweilig. He is bored. Sehr gut. Das macht mich krank. It makes me sick. Was meinst du? What do you mean? <laughs> es spielt sowieso keine Rolle. Uh, doesn't matter anyway. Sehr gut. Uh, David in chat says 414, 4, 14. Warum bist du so wütend? Why are you so angry? Das reicht. That's enough. Das reicht. That's enough. Mal sehen, was wir hier haben. Let's see what we have here. Gar nicht so einfach. Not so easy at all. That's why we left it for last. Ja. <laughs> Fill in the blanks. Du willst uns ausbluten und unsere dicken, leckeren und unglaublich nützlichen Säfte etwas. Klauen. Uh, klauen, ja, genau. To steal. Das etwas mich etwas. Das macht mich krank. Das macht mich krank. Sehr gut, sehr gut. 
Bist du ein magisches Wesen? Kannst du mir helfen, Mokchotra zu etwas töten? Töten, to go. Aber nicht mit mir, du wirst nicht in den etwas meines Saftes kommen. Genuss. Genuss. Pleasure. Genuss, Genuss, das ist gut, okay, Genuss. Genau. Ich überlasse sie besser wieder den Vorbereitungen. Sehr gut. Flashcards, the being in German. Das Wesen. Das Wesen, ja. To watch. Zusehen. Zu sehen. To wake up. Aufwecken. Aufwecken. But emphasize the prefix. This is the prefix because this is a separable verb. Aufwecken. <laughs> to slaughter. Abschlachten. Abschlachten. <laughs> Wütend. Wütend. Idle. Untätig. Untätig. Oh, der Wald. Der, der Wald, Wald, ja, der Wald. Sehr gut. To kill. Töten. Töten. Töten, ja. Tüten. To stand around. Herumstehen. Herumstehen. The noun for this picture or this action? Das Schweigen. Das Schweigen, ja. ja. Okay. Let's order some words. Hopefully you'll remember some of the sentences. I think we did this one. I'll still get it wrong. Denk, <laughs> denkt ihr Menschen auch? An irgendetwas anderes als an Tüten. Sehr yeah, gut, you did not get it wrong. Good, <laughs> yeah. Do you das think... war eine Überraschung. Ja, sehr gute Überraschung. Für mich war das keine Überraschung. Ich wusste oh, das. Vielen Dank. <laughs> Aber nicht mehr lange. Aber nicht mehr lange, but not for long. Weil sie ein Bürger... Weil sie... Are you shaking your head? Weil sie ein, Bur, ein, ein Bürgermeister... Wie ein, ein, wie ein Bürgermeister aussehen. No, you're not typing it because yeah. I'm not right. Because you sound like two <laughs> oh, answers you in one. Right? You're one of those well, special well, offers on TV. Like you get two answers in one. File Z V ein Bürgermeister aus Zayn. Sehr gut. <laughs> because you look like a mayor. Kannst du mich da oben hören? Kannst du mich da oben hören? Can you hear me up there? Das macht mich krank. Das macht See, mich krank. I can krank. do four words. Four <laughs> words, maybe. <laughs> das ist die Grenze. And that was our game for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like this video. And if you still have any questions, ask them in the comments below.